Make It In Manufacturing started in 2006. The campaign's all around overturning negative stereotypes that some people might have about the manufacturing industry and also creating a pipeline of talent so that we've got more bright young people wanting to come and work in the sector. Today we're in Wrexham and we're joined by our friends from Sharp. We're really happy that they're uh, supporting the campaign and what we've asked the young people to do is to create energy efficient power solutions for their choice of customer. So it's all about um, coming up with ideas uh, for sustainable forms of energy to reduce the reliance upon fossil fuels. It's quite a challenging task that we've set the young pupils today but hopefully behind me you can see that they've responded with masses of energy and lots of enthusiasm. We considered making either a hospital or a school but we decided eventually on the school because even though the hospital is more challenging because it needs to save more energy because it's 24 7 we decided on the school because we have days out of school where we can save up energy with an efficient energy saving system and then um, over a two year uh, like system we sort of worked out that we would only actually be using 220 days worth of energy over two years this is our second occasion working with Make It in Manufacturing. Um, it was a privilege when they asked us to do it yet again. Uh, the first time we did it was a fantastic experience both for Sharp as a company and also for the school children. Um, and we're hoping that it will be the same this time as well. I must say it is an absolute splendid idea to see local manufacturers getting involved with the local schools. It's a wonderful opportunity for the children to really be taught what is going on out there and give them some real ideas and what I like about this uh, Make It presentation is that it's, it's kind of real life and it's, it's really hard work and gets the children thinking and get them ready for some first class jobs that are really out there and understand what manufacturing is all about. What I've learned about manufacturing is that you have to really be original and you can't just you have to think about the money and what materials you're going to use and you have to have it all like worked out in your head because if you, you've made a brilliant product, you've planned it out, you have everything done and then you come to the end and you find out you don't actually have enough money to making it, then you, well, that's, that's hours of work out of the window and today's, what I've learned today has really enlightened me to careers I'd like to consider when I'm older.